Hey there guys, I have another video for you. Um, this one's my latest haul. Last weekend I was at Manchester for the Power Symphonic meetup of Manchester. Because basically we're going to be going around the whole of the UK and obviously during the day we have a nose around the record shops, the local ones that are there and like h and and that sort of stuff. And then um, the music shops and alternative shops and whatnot. And then on the evening, we go to one of the rock slash metal bars and we have a good night out and let our hair down, have a few drinks and rock out to the um, DJ. The DJ was absolutely fantastic in Burn in um, Manchester. We first went to the Sal, and then I think it was the um, I'm trying to think of the name of the pub, but it was the other one. There was another one that was um, I think it was right next to it. And the DJ there, um, power metal fan, which I thought was cool. He played everything, obviously stuff like ACDC, Green Day, Linkin Park, Papa Roach, um, Marilyn Manson, Slipknot and that sort of stuff. But um, he actually played some wicked songs because I, um, me and the friends from the group, we asked him to play a few front songs. So we played Hammerfall, Bloodbound, Grail Knights, Pumping Iron Fist, I think it's called. Um, Beast in Black, um, Blind and Frozen, then a lot of Maiden, Judas Priest and Halloween and stuff. Absolutely fantastic. I lost my voice because I was, got up, played the air guitar and sung and stuff. But um, as I was up there, I went and got a load of stuff from HMV. We went into, um, there's a metal, there's a market which is like for all alternatives. Where they've got like loads of um alternative stuff in their stores and everything, and they had a um record shop in there. I did go in the record shop, but um, it's in Affleck's Palace. If anybody knows that, I act from the UK. I actually um went in there and I went in the record shop, which was up the top. I was in there twenty minutes. I just come straight out like a shot and and literally left. It's the most expensive record shop I went in there. I have a copy of um, Sabaton Karoros Rex, which is the Swedish version on vinyl. And it's a whole album on vinyl and it's £20 on eBay. Well, they had a sticker in, in their shop. It was selling it for £120 saying it was rare, which is not rare. You can get it easy on eBay. There was an Epica vinyl, which is about 20 to 25 quid on eBay. And they wanted £60. They was really expensive and for a really cheap DVD, which I haven't got, which is within, within temptation with the orchestra, they wanted nearly eight quid for a, a battered copy and it was falling to pieces of packaging and I thought, nope. So I bought nothing from there. But I went in h &V and had a good nose and I bought um, quite a few stuff. So plus I had some stuff turn up off Amazon and eBay Friday. So I'll show you my um, haul. I'll first start off with um, my Amazon slash eBay. This one is Absentana Dell, I think it's pronounced that. It's the latest um, Behemoth or Behemoth studio album. Can't wait to dig into that and give that a listen. If you like your um, black and death metal, black metal, death metal and stuff, then I think you'd really enjoy them. Then we have Bone Shaker, Airborne. If you're a fan of ACDC, I know you. I know you'd probably like these because um, they just sound similar, very similar to ACDC, and also I think they're from Australia. I'm guessing they are, but they are a great band. Love to see them live. Then we have the 40th anniversary of Frost and Fire, Siri Fungal. Um, I believe this is their first studio album. I did get their latest studio album, which was. I did a video on it from a YouTube channel, but I did get out on vinyl and I gave it a listen because they came across on Banger TV. So I thought I'd give them a go, a listen, really enjoyed them. So obviously I was looking for their back catalogue. I did have the EP that was released and then this came up for pre-order. So I snapped this up like a shot. So I can't wait to dig into that album. Then we have Ozzy Osbourne and Motorhead, Hellraiser. Absolutely love this song. Side A is Hellways and Mashup, which this is going to be interesting to listen to. Ozzy Osbourne and Lemmy, um, featuring Zach Wild, Lemmy Kilmeister, and 2021 20, Mashup remix by Rob Kinelski, I think that's pronounced. Side B, you get Hellraiser, Ozzy Osbourne version, and Hellraiser, Motorhead version. So, absolutely cannot wait to get into that, to listen to that mashup and all. Out of the Hellraiser, the Aussie and the um, Motorhead version. I do prefer the Aussie version, but I love the Motorhead version. Then we have um, 
Blood of the Saints. This is the anniversary version of the vinyl. I'm not sure if it's redone or remastered. I've got the CD on pre-order, but for some reason it says something like the 7th of January this is going to be released. And the vinyl's released before the CD, which is a bit strange. So I don't have the original pressing on vinyl of Blood of the Saints, so I am looking for an original copy. But this one, I thought, obviously I'm going to pre-order it just to get it in my collection. And the redone artwork is pretty awesome. Not as good as the original, but pretty cool. Right, I'll show you what I got from HMV and um, or I did buy a couple of things in Affleck's, like a T-shirt and a poster flag. But the CDs and vinyl, these ones are from um HMV. Status quo in the army now. I do have this album, but when I looked at the back and um, you get six bonus tracks which are not on the CD version, so it was a no-brainer. Um, for someone like six pound, I snapped that up like a shot. Love status quo. Then we have um this one cost nine ninety nine. Kiss Love Gun. Um the remasters. Look like there isn't no extra tracks, but I don't have this one in my collection, so it was um obviously picked that one up. Now this one I do have in my collection as a standard single disc edition, which I got off my good friend Martin White. I think it was last my birthday, or was it last Christmas or something? This is the 45th anniversary edition of Kiss Destroyer two disc edition. So it was a no brainer when I seen it. I thought I've got to grab this in my collection two disc edition. I can't wait to listen to all the extra tracks. It just says um, Paul Stanley demos, Gene Simmons demos, rarities, and four tracks live from um, Lee Olympia, 22nd of May 1976. So that's going to be very interesting for all them bonus tracks. Then we have, I do have this, but I don't have the two disc edition. <clears throat> That's the first studio on my Halloween, Wars of Jericho. This come up and it was £10 and I've seen you get the extra disc. I have the standard edition of this, two different versions on CD. I have the this version, which is not with the second disc, just the same packaging and stuff. And then I have one which is a slightly different cover. And you get an EP on the end, but this one's a two disc edition. So obviously I had to snap that and add that one to my collection show you the two vinyl these were actually two for 40 pound in hmv which i've looked at the two for 40 i've got quite a lot of them but some of them are dinner so i snapped these up this is eonian i think that's how you pronounce it the last studio on by dimu Borgir. if you're a fan of black metal symphonic black metal then i actually love this album i've done an unboxing video on the cd version somewhere on my channel but i do really enjoy this album so come up on um vinyl available that was two for 40 so i snapped that up this next vinyl, I couldn't believe I finally have this on vinyl. I do have the first album, which is Tales of Ancient Prophecies, and their second studio album, which was um, Heroes of Mighty Magic on vinyl. But this one don't feature Christian Eriksen, because after Heroes of Mighty Magic, Christian Eriksen was booted from um, the band. Not sure the reason why he was booted. This is their latest studio album, do love it. Dawn of the Dragon Star, Twilight Force. I absolutely love this band. I've seen them twice with Christian Eriksen, and that was a Heroes of Mighty Magic tour. I've seen them support a Sonata Arctica, and then it was Sabaton, and um, Accept with Twilight Force, and they were incredible lives. So finally got this on vinyl. So now I have all three Twilight Force on vinyl, so I'm mega happy to get that one in my collection. I can't wait to listen to the vinyl version. Plus I thought, what, which was cool, you get all the extra tracks, which is on the two disc version of the CD. Because the CD version, you get an extra disc with a load of stuff on, like um, Power of the Ancient Force, Hannah Turi version, with the Light of the Thousand Suns Orchestra version, Enchanted Dragon of Wisdom, 2007 demo version, and Forest of Destiny, 2007 demo version. So I can't wait to um, listen to this final. Um, obviously, Blade. Blade of Immortal Steel is my favourite track off this album. But I do love um, Thunder Sword and Dawn of the Dragon Star. So I absolutely cannot wait to listen to the vinyl version just to see what it sounds like. I know you can get this on coloured vinyl, so I am looking for it on coloured vinyl. Then I have a t-shirt. This one cost me about, say, 18 quid from Aflex. But I snapped it up because it, it's one of my favourite Sabaton albums. And that is the um, Heroes t-shirt. And the back, which is my favourite song of that album, To Hell and Back. 
absolutely fantastic if you love your um history military history and heavy metal then you know sabaton fantastic power metal band i've got everything by them the only thing i haven't got is their latest studio album which is um the water end or wars and that's released on i believe it's february but i've um already pre-ordered on team different versions of it now this one's a poster flag um cost me like 12 pound it's huge so it may not all fit in a picture but um it is the frozen tears of angels poster flag which i was shocked i was actually selling it because nobody sells rhapsody of fire stuff so i'm not sure if you can see this so there the frozen tears of angels so i will slowly um bring this up so you can see it it is huge as you can see it's a massive poster flag and obviously at the bottom it actually says um if i can show you when it actually says the frozen tears of angels so that was absolutely awesome that will be going on my ceiling i was looking for some more power metal poster flags because other than like i've got metallica made and a behemoth um within temptation I'm, i was looking for some power metal and i'm looking also i was looking for something like an Ozzy or a Def leopard because my music taste is all over the shop because i like a mixture of everything i'm actually wearing an accept metal heart at the moment this is my favorite accept album metal heart and midnight mover absolutely masterpiece so yeah that was my um haul from um manchester and amazon I will be doing another latest haul on the 25th or something like that because I've received a load of parcels off friends for Christmas, a load of packages with um, CDs, um, vinyl and that sort of stuff, some gifts off friends. So I will be doing a video on that to find out what they've got me. But um, I just can't wait to see what I've got because suppose my friend said he's bought me a load of a couple of vinyl and some CDs. So I'm truly grateful to have some good friends in my life. So yeah. Um, that's my latest haul i will be unboxing all of them so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it wasn't on too long so i'll see you in the next unboxing video so take care and stay safe